all my neighbors hate me. Alright, so what do we think? Take this thing down a little bit so we can talk. 2017, I think this one is. 2017 Mustang GT350. Had it now just for a bit. Um, kind of the same deal as the Porsche video, really. Took some pictures. Um, came down at the lake. Had some last night as the sun went down. Different lights. And just been getting used to driving it. I haven't driven a manual gearbox for a while. And just getting used to that. Something completely different. You know. Getting used to seat setup and just everything that I'm just not used to. So.
definitely staying on now. It's not coming off anytime soon. Like, this is... I'm glad I got to drive this now. Because I now understand what it's like to drive, how it takes certain things, like how you've got to drive it, the way you've got to shift, the way you've got to blip on the down downshift, you know, just to manage the engine. And I'm not used to, like, this isn't, I'm not a great driver, like, this is all new to me. I mean, yeah, I grew up driving manual cars, but, I mean, that's a Ford Fiesta, right? That's not a 520 horsepower naturally aspirated monster like this thing that revs to eight something you know every one of the things i noticed last night was the clutch travel for me is quite far and i'm not used to it being quite far so i've really got to set up my driving position to make sure that it's not uncomfortable and i'm not like raising my leg or slipping or whatever so that was one thing for me that i had to figure out and i think over time if i had this car you know for if it was mine, I would finally get it down. I mean, I'm not, after having it for 24 hours, I don't have it down yet. I think it's something that, with any car, you just kind of, you get used to and you mold it to you, right? You just get used to driving it and, you know, there's little quirks and stuff like that, but they become normal to you. Whereas right now, I'm like, okay, you know, make sure that, that I'm not lifting off the clutch too early. And, you know, just little things like that that make driving this thing smooth uh, I went to driving through my neighborhood last couple of days and you know it, last night I come back from taking photos of this thing and I'm trying not to be too loud trying not to wake everybody up but at the same time you can't drive this thing between 1 and 2 thousand RPM like you just can't it's it's a disservice to the car, it's a disservice to you, it's miserable to drive. You've got to get up it for it to, you know, perform. And that's like 3 and 4 RPM, 3,000, 4,000, that's nowhere near where it needs to be, but within two flexes of my big toe, I'm over the speed limit and I'm in jail. So, again, I... I don't, I don't want to give it back at all. It's, it's one of the most fun cars I think I've ever driven. And now I understand going forward why everybody raves about this car. Why everyone says it's amazing value for the money. Because where else are you going to find 520 something naturally aspirated horsepower with a manual gearbox for 46 grand? You're not. That, and another thing like that I haven't, I mean, with the power that this thing has, you know, it's, there's times, typical kind of Mustang cliche drivers that, you know, you put your foot down and you're in a hedge or you're wiping out a crowd. I haven't felt like un, uncomfortable driving this and putting my foot down. And I'm not getting anywhere near what this car can do. But... For me, like when I put my foot down, I'm not like, it's not like that, oh, you know, oh shit moment of, I could be in a hedge, I have no idea the control of this thing. And that's kind of, that's quite big for me, like that's, you know, again, this is thankfully, the Diffies are giving me this car to just check it out, take some pictures, and like it's, the last thing I want to do is give them that phone call, hey, sorry boys, the, uh, cars in a field. Yeah, I, uh, I decided to turn traction control off and put it in a field. Like, it's one of the best looking cars and one of the best handling cars that, you know, it's just, it's, yeah, it's mega. I'm just past the state trooper and he gave me the wave and the nod, so clearly he approves. Hopefully he doesn't pull me over. Tyrant hates it. When I pulled into the garage yesterday, I told him, okay, come on, come on, look at this thing. She opens the garage door and it's like, the colour's hideous. Okay, so it's not a good start. And then I took her out in it this morning and she absolutely does not care about speed, about the noise. She's just not a car person. So, got that good, nothing going for me, sadly. I really don't want to get
get this thing back. Not one bit. Out in the country, country roads. Take me home. downshifts of all time. Fourth to third, little blip. And when you heat when the engine heats up, the crackles on the overrun are just better than your cereal. One thing as well is these seats are really comfortable. These weren't my top choice of like if I was to spec this car. They weren't my top choice of seats. But yeah, these